simple question. Who is their anti-Christ? Better question, who is their Dijal? See over here, man, we like to ask the right questions. Is King David Prester John, priest king, the Antichrist of Christianity and Dajjal of Islam? Well, we've been studying the anti-their Christ hypothesis because their Christ just means they're anointed and their anointed is something new, not what was, you know, already belonging to you. You've been invaded, been given a different anointed monarchy, right? So we know that they don't talk about King David rising again, Hosea 3, Ezekiel 37, Ezekiel 34, Jeremiah 30. They never bring these scripts up. They, they want it to be a son of David so that they can fit in their anointed. But nah, Jeremiah 30 says, whom I will raise up for you, this priest king, King David, monarchy. Yeah, and then Islam got their Dijal, so I'd love to everybody dropping links. Let's see a few more so we can get some type of clarity. And really, man, I just think this is a body bag. Let's do it quickly. All the facts are adding up. Here is their description of the deceiver, unbeliever, or Dijal. All right, I'm quoting a couple sources down here. You can get this link. Just go to 4 through 2 to drop. Click on community. You're going to see all of our posts. It's the latest one. All the facts are adding up, right? So the one day the Mashiach, or excuse me, messenger of Allah, may peace be unto him, mentioned in the presence of people about al masi al Dajjal, he said, Verily Allah, hallowed be he, right, is not blind in one eye. So verily... <laughs> Is not is not he blind in one eye? Behold, but the Messiah Dajjal is blind of the right eye. Come on, man. This is a body bag, Daniel. Body bag for the illusion. We're asking, is King David their Antichrist or their deceiver, Dajjal, unbeliever? Remember, he got the kefir or the kofir. Written across his forehead, his head bone. He got the kafir, right? Kafir. We're going to get that. Let's go. Because right now we want to dig on this right eye situation, man. So apparently this Dijal is blind, my naga, and the right eye. As if his eye is like a swollen grape. He looks of, or excuse me, his locks, man. All right, so he got locks. His locks of hair were falling on his shoulders. He was a man whose hair were neither too curly nor too straight. And water trickled down from his head. Aye. <laughs> he was placing his bands on the shoulder of two persons and amidst them was making a circuit around the Kaaba. Okay. Alright. So this Masi, who they're calling Masi, son of Mary. That's interesting when you dig on this Miriam. But let's go. And I saw behind a man with intensely curly hair, blind of the right eye. What's this got to do with the right eye and the blinding on the right eye, my naga, my naga. Love to the David Rumsey map gallery, man, because he got this great map. You know, we've been digging on this with our land beyond a pole connection, and this is Preston John. You dig? Right under, uh, or you know, really right before these gateways going to the lands beyond the pole. Now we're going to get some more map drop, but clearly there's an issue with the eye, right? And I kind of wrote it off, but now I'm looking at it like clearly there's an issue with the eye, huh? Oh, ooh, oh, ooh. it's Preston John. And what's up with this right eye blindness we've been talking about? And it even looks green, although they're going to. They're going to try to shift that to the left eye. They're going to say in this other link, Prophet Muhammad called Dajjal, one with blind one eye. One with blind one eye. In detail, he said that Dajjal's right eye would be like a floating grape, shaking, not fixed in one position. Dajjal's left eye would also be defective and green in color. So this one just got the right eye. 
that looks defective and green and looks like they're trying to signify there's some type of issue blindness or something happening with his what his right eye man I right, I right. blind in the right eye the jaws right eye let's go would be like a floating gray <laughs> And then they threw in this green and color situation, man. And I mean, I'm just telling you, man, who, oh, who is Preston John, man. And hey, out to the ruins that's been surfing the wave. All we're doing is asking the right questions around here. I know we got a lot of new wave surfers, so the wada to all the new wave surfers. Hey, man, we're just learning to ask the right question. Right eye? Green? Right eye? Right eye. Press the John. Let go. Alright, now what do we get about this Kefar or Kefir situation? We're on uh, Suna.com. Man, love to everyone dropping this drop. That when the people mentioned before, Abbas, that the Dajjal would have the word Kafir. Right? Kafir, unbeliever. Alright, they're saying the word. They're saying kafir just means unbeliever, man. We say that it means a lot more than unbeliever, my knock. <laughs> kafir, root word, Arabic, disbelieve. Okay, written on the forehead, written right on the head bone. He got this kafir, unbeliever, right? Kafir, right? All right, so are we talking unbeliever or are we talking kafir in terms of this racial slur referring to black Americans, black people? Caffrey, are we just talking about pre-colonial period as equivalent of Negro? So this Caffrey is written on his forehead, right? Yeah, Caffrey is written across his head bone, right? Caffrey, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Caffrey. One F's or two F's, my naga. Racial slur for black people. Or are we just referring to kofir? <laughs> kefir, kafir, kofir. These vowels <laughs> are all interchangeable and really don't matter. I mean, you're just talking about the consonants and the roots. And are we just talking kofir, my naga? Now, we're just digging on Benjamin of Tadula. All right. This is out of the book called Lost Tribes and Promised Lands by Ronald Sanders. All right, all right. Benjamin of Tadula, what happens, man? Benjamin of Tadula describes a relationship he had heard between four of the lost tribes and a nomadic, so they're calling them nomads, people called Kafir. Now, why? Now, how could this Kafir be turned into a racial slur? And why does this have everything to do with Preston John King David? Nomadic people called Kofir on the Central Asian steppes, Managa, you in Asia. <laughs> the Kofir al Turak eventually were not, evidently were not Christians, alright? <laughs> but their purported relationship with some of the lost tribes resembles that of Prester John. Their relationship with the lost tribes resembles that of Prester John. And could have something to do with the making of the latter's legend. Is that why there's very little you're going to find on this Kofir al Tarak, man? Go dig on it. And what does it got to do with Preston John? It resembles that of Preston John digging on the lost tribes. Now, look at what they turned the Kofir into, man. This is from Deps, D E P T S, dot Washington, dot edu. Benjamin is one of the few writers, right, Benjamin of Tadula of the Middle Ages, who gives us an account of these subjects of Prester John. So now they're calling them subjects of Prester John. <laughs> they were no other than the infidels, the sons of Gus, Kofir, Kafir. I mean, my naga, are we talking Kafir? Hmm. Are we talking, uh... Kafir? Or are we simply just talking Kofir? Kofar? 
Now, now they turn these Kofars into this wild, flat-nosed Mongol hordes. Now, Mongol just means great. The great ones. The great. The Mongolians. The great ones. All right? So, that's the trick. The Mongols are the Israelites. Are the, you know what I'm saying, great ones. Flat-nosed. Ah, starting to sound very Negro-ish. <laughs> wild. Tartary, right? Tartaria. Who, in Benjamin's quaint language... Worshiped the wind and lived in the wilderness. All right, what the wind, what they call it, nature. What, what are we, you know, we're just talking about the uh, the flow. We're just talking about the flow. <laughs> so, who are they trying to demonize now into these wild, flat nosed Mongol whores? Does this add up to something that's going to be resembling but their purported relationship with some of the lost tribes resembles that of Prester John, who the Kofir. Kafir, and why did they turn them into just some wild, you know, wide nosed Mongols, man? Why are they demonizing them into Kafirs? How did they become Kafirs, man? How did this become a racial slur, my nigga? Just talking about the Negro. Kafir. Let's take it from here. So when you dig on Kafir, Manav, you're digging on an army that, I mean, is the expanse of the entire desert, they say. So these are the ones fighting against the Persians and the Medes and a lot of these sultans. So they took this tribe and they turned them into a racial slur. And now it became their Dajjal, Managa. Because they also got dragons, Managa. Please believe the dragons play. Because <laughs> they call the dragons demons all day, right? But do they call all... Angels, demons, just because you got fallen angels, does it mean all angels are bad? Of course not. So if so, if you got some fallen dragons, does it mean all dragons are bad? Of course not. So this is how they demonize. If you got one bad, you know, Naga kicking up dust, is all Nagas bad? Of course not, right? But this is how they trying to, you know, turn these Kofirs and they showed him much honor. What happened? The Jews took counsel. This is out of Masterpieces of Hebrew Literature, selections from 2,000 years ago by Kurt Leviant. The Jews took counsel and resolved to propitiate the king on account of the Jews or the Hebrews who were in exile. So we're talking Hebrews. Then the king entered their lands with his army and stayed there 15 days. And they showed him much honor and also sent a dispatch to the Kofir. Are we just talking some some crazy white nose mongols right are we talking about the lost tribes or those connecting with the lost tribes allies of the lost tribes their allies whose allies the hebrews the jews their allies we're not talking jewish hijack we're talking the hebrew allies reported the matter to them so they dispatched to kofir Reported the matter to them, their allies, thereupon the latter occupied the mountains. So they occupied the mountains, man. So they were nomads, right? In the mountains, right? In the mountains, right? Now watch this. This is a list of ethnic slurs. <laughs> and when you dig on Kofir, it says a people, a member of the people inhabiting Hindu Kush mountains of northeast Afghanistan. Hindu Kush, by Naga. So now we're talking Kafir. The Kafir are in the mountains, in the Hindu Kush, Kush mountains. The Kafir, or are we talking Kofar, that are what? They have a large army composed of all the, that dwelt in the desert. Dispatched to Kofir, their allies occupied the mountains, Manak. The Kofir al Tariq army was victorious and slew many of the Persian hosts. This is why they demonize them and turn the Kofir into the Kafir, people of the mountains, right? The Kafir, and this is why it's the same Kafir, Managi. That became a racial term, racial slur, talking about a certain breed of black people, Managi. And what deserts are we really talking about, man? This is out, out the British Museum, Managi. It's out the British Museum, and right here... In the four corners, you got Prester John, and this is America, right? This is America, right? Prester John.
blind in one eye. 